Okay, welcome to this lab, I'm going to say setup video. Here we're going to be looking at how to access the school's NetLab. So most of our classes will be on netlab1.csn.edu. That lets us know how to access and log in to our NetLab system. Uh, in the announcements, you guys should have received a username and password. Your username will be your entry. Mine is my name. Your default password, again, was this, uh, sent to you in the assignment. Once you log in, you're going to get a few prompts. Uh, notice I'm doing this in Chrome. Chrome may say that Java is not detected and to get Java. Chrome d does not work well with Java, so if you believe you have Java installed, just go and click on continue. You have to choose a new password. Make sure to remember your password because you're going to be logging into NetLabs quite frequently to access our lab material. That's my email address. Okay, we are Pacific Time. Make sure to set the appropriate time zone. Format, you can do either 12 hour or 24 hour, doesn't really matter. These don't really matter. The time zone is the most important. Okay, so here's, we set up our password, we set up our time zone, and that only has to happen the first time you log in. From the second onward, the second attempt logging in onward, you will typically log in and you'll be ax asked to do a remote access test. If you skip the test, the environment does not work correctly. So we actually want to start the access test. In Chrome, it will download a JNLP file. We have to keep it, and we have to run it. JNLP is a clever way of saying it's a Java file. I normally select don't show this again and run. If you're waiting and nothing is happening, that JNLP file probably downloaded to your downloads folder and is just sitting there waiting. And you're in. You can now do your work. So, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of Chrome. I'm going to go to Firefox. I'm going to log in. It is showing a not secure connection, so that's kind of weird. HTTPS. You know what? At this point, it doesn't really matter. I will figure out why it's showing not secured a little bit later. Want to log in? It's always going to show Java not detected on your system. That is okay. For this, we can just skip the Java checking. You'll notice remote uh, access test pops back up. We want to run it. We have to make sure that we open the JNLP file. That's the Java file. Don't do this again. Run. 
and it lets us in. Firefox and IE are the better of the browsers in terms of accessing NetLab. Here we're going to get a prompt. Do we want to allow Java to run? Yes, we do. That makes us log back in. That's okay. We want to start the remote access tests. And it may prompt you to run the JNLP file. With IE, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. IE, Java works with, so you should just get the Java prompt. Don't share this message again, and run. And that lets you in. So, that shows you how to access NetLab using all three browsers, IE, Firefox, and Chrome. So that's one part of it. The second Part of it is scheduling your lab time. Let's say I today it's 9.20 p.m. I want to get some lab time in. I want to go to my scheduler. Whatever classes I'm enrolled in, it will show here. This is just an example because this is a test user for me. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to log into my CIT 274 Spring 2008 class spring 2018 class. I want to reserve it for myself. I want to work on reconnaissance with nmap. So this screen will give us the bar is the current time. You cannot schedule time in the past. If this showed 12 a.m. That's because you didn't set the time zone correctly. I want to go ahead. Each pod is literally just a group piece of equipment. So if someone's on pod 1, go to pod 2. If someone's on pod 6, go to a different or open pod. The pod selection does not matter. They're all on the same physical machine. They have all the same physical characteristics. You can schedule time for up to four hours. So I want to schedule from 9.30 to 11.30. That gives me two hours and seven minutes. There will be ten minutes at the very end used for cleanup. So I really only get one hour, 57 minutes. That's okay. When you're done, I'm done. When it's time for your reservation and you're at the home screen, you'll get a enter lab option. Enter the lab. If it's Firefox or Chrome, pay attention to the JNLP files that are downloading. What's happening right now, the first time you log into it, it will be slow. Because what it's doing is it's spinning up all of the virtual machines for that lab. So you just have to be patient when you first log in. This sometimes can take upwards of five minutes, so be patient. So that one took a few minutes. So once you're in, do not click I'm done. I'm done turns off your reservation. So normally what I tell people is hit the show lab content button. That will give you your lab steps in a PDF. And this will be just a straight show you the diagram, give you all the passwords. Scroll down until we get to our first steps. So here, to begin the lab, click on the Cali graphic icon on the topology page.
tally, you'd click on it. Don't get too click happy. <laughs> I've noticed if you click on it multiple times, like I just did, you won't actually get the message. You'll get a error message. It's Java, so you're going to have to keep clicking run. It kind of is sad, but that's what happens. So when you click on it, it should open the JLP file for you. Just need to be a little patient. And then you do your work inside of that window. As you navigate to the different machines, it takes a minute to open up. Again, be patient. All right, so let's say you completed lab one, you've gone through all of the steps, and you have some more time, and you want to go into the next lab. Under exercises, you have the ability to move forward to the other labs, so you can navigate between what lab you're doing. Click change exercise. The lab will now change. Click show lab content, will show you the new lab content. Okay, this is on the old lab. This is now lab two. And again, same general setup. It will give you topology, it will give you the password, and it gives you the steps. You can keep moving on until you have no time remaining. When you are done, like you're done for the night, if you click I'm done, it will terminate your reservation, which means you cannot get back in or schedule more time for an hour. There is an hour wait time between scheduling time. So that was getting in with IE. I'm going to do one more example. in Chrome. Continue. Pay attention. Make sure you always do the start remote access tests. Pay attention to the JNLP files. That's why I'm saying Chrome is harder to use in this regard. Using IE or Firefox is a little bit better. And in this regard, I would probably recommend using IE. You'll notice, because I already scheduled time, I can go back into it. If I'm doing work at CSN, and I schedule a four-hour window, and I get in, and I work, and it's time to go home, I can always just close the browser, go home, and pick right back up. But once your session is done, all the information you have in here will be wiped. Nothing gets saved. Alright, so I'm, again, I'm on lab 2, show lab content. You want to change exercises, you can. When you click on any of the items, it will download this JNLP file. You have to keep it and you have to click on it. That will open up the JNLP file. Again, in Chrome, that's just something that you have to do. And then again, follow the lab steps and do your lab. Okay, so I'm completely done. I can click, I'm done. Do you really want to end your lab reservation? That means any of my remaining time, I can give back. Yes. So I no longer have a reservation. But, if I want to register again, I already have an active reservation and it doesn't, like it's, it will eventually go away. I cannot just schedule more time just yet. It won't let me. There's an hour gap between reservation times. That way, not one student 
can hog everything. So that's how you access NetLab, how you schedule time in NetLab, and how you kind of do basic work in NetLab. If you have any questions, reach out. If NetLab is giving you any issues, right there. That's our, techno, uh, our tech person, and that's his office phone number. If you have any problems, again, reach out. Let me know. Thank you.